Hello, and well, welcome to Quailcraft episode 3. Now, I've done a lot since I was last on. You can see I've added some rings around there to put in some more decoration, and, and I've put the windows on all of the sides just to add a lot more decor to the whole thing. I've also finished the inside. Now, I've got a way less than efficient <laughs> farm with the honey side, but the honeycomb keeps piling in. So, I don't remember whose video I got this from, but it will be in the description down below. But it just senses that it's hap that um, the block has changed, filled up, and then activate these. It activates all of them though, which is bad for the honey, because I've ended up getting lots of just bottles. I'll have to refill this again later. Though, it's perfectly fine for the honeycomb. So, maybe not... Maybe not the best choice if you want to do your own. I'm sure there's a lot better, but I'll still put the one in the description. But, with that honey that I've gathered, I've been able to make doors. Now, I got to this design from a friend of mine, but he probably got it from someone else who got it from someone else. It's been in there forever. <laughs> it's been around forever. Now, this, this activates something like this on the bottom where this it does both at the same time and it activates these observers which then push these down and then pulls that and then the same thing on the other side pulls observers down and it goes down and then it does the same going up that probably didn't make any sense which is fine but i've done this on all three sides here and you guys have probably heard me talking about my defense system well it's been implemented now I'm not actually gonna activate it because it would take a while to undo some parts of it but you can see the button here it will push that sand down which will then go down here and activate these pushing up the pillagers who can then shoot people down here and you've probably seen it but it will also release my zombie horde of royal guards and witch now I actually died in here so the zombies all picked up my stuff it was like hours to get everything back and then because I had to kill a bunch of zombies bring in new ones it 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 was terrible it was I am floating I I'm floating that's fine it was terrible though which is unfortunate <laughs> but we'll now head to the shopping district because there's something new I want to show you okay so me and the other quails have been making this courtroom slash town hall that you see here spent much time on this you can see the quail banner there and inside you can see where people can stand up on the podium I've been told this has been based off real place but I don't know what it is I if anyone knows please put it in the description down below I'd very much like to know but you can see everyone has their own banners this is mine there you can see it has my crown if I can take this off my crown and the the bricks represent building because I'm a builder, and then there's the crown. 
which I think is pretty cool. I was able to get that going. Uh, I'll, I'm going to get a judge costume in case ever, anyone ever needs a judge up here. Unless this is someone specific. This might just be upside down gaming. Or upside down game, I guess. <laughs> He's in charge of the server, so he might just be the person up there or might just be anyone. But who knows? <laughs> But there's something else important here in the shopping district. There is this shop. Now this is an apple shop. I've already bought it out of all its apples. If if the owner of this shop is watching, please restock. I'd love I'd love that. Now you see Gold Farm, which I have plus these apples means lots and lots of golden apples which is very good makes me very powerful in battle which just about every meeting of the quails ends up as a battle which is unfortunate but despite the fact that every meeting turns into a battlefield so far we were able to get this nether hub done particularly down here, which is the new way to get to my base. We just go down the ice, which is really fast in boats for no reason. <laughs> like, why, why? Why is it like that? And down, <laughs> makes no sense. But down here, is this it? Ah, yes. I've made this little nice entrance to my portal. So you can see it's like skyscrapers and then the sidewalk down here and then down to the portal room at the end with also a way down to the main nether so now that we've returned it's it's time to show you a clip from earlier where i tested out the defense system on another quail though this was an earlier design of the defense system it still had the pillagers, but the zombie design was much smaller, and there was no witch. But it should be fun. Unfortunately, my mic didn't work at the time, so I'm going to just have to voice over it now. But that should be fun either way. So here we are, starting the test on Dungeon Master 42. A fellow quail so he doesn't know that we were going to do this so we've dropped him down to the chair setup I've shown before he's fallen in the water and now it seems the pillagers don't quite reach him but the zombies are released I seem very GLaDOS if for those that don't know, that's from the game Portal and Portal 2. See, the, the zombies, though much less than I have in there now, um, I'm just asking them not to kill the pillagers because they're hard to return. Unfortunately, the pillagers don't seem to aim immediately at them, which is unfortunate. Don't I mean, not shooting. It takes care of the zombies quite quickly, but I'll have more now, but still not as effective as I'd hoped. But interesting at least. Now breaking the sand deactivates the whole system, drops the pillagers down, closes the doors. Now I'd, I'll just have to get payment for him because I promised I'd pay him. <laughs> yeah, it didn't go as well as I hoped. But, whatever. <laughs> now here we are at the end of this extra short video. I didn't include a time lapse because the ones before in first person don't work very well. A little, a little too hard on the eyes. <laughs> But, um, 
I'm going to be asking to see if I can get a spectator account in here so I can do a proper time lapse. Then the that should help. But some of you might have seen what we're going to be working on next video in the corners of the screen. I've been trying to avoid looking at it because I, I, I've been working on it instead of working on publishing this video. But next time we'll be working on Star's Tower.